God, blimey, what a palaver. Another Johnson Downing Street lockdown party revealed. Outrage as the Etonian lies yet again. The previously fawning commentary are circling Johnson-like vultures. It's all right for pathetic Labour to huff and puff demanding his resignation, but they won't be filling his shoes. It will be another right-wing Tory after the next election, riding a manufactured honeymoon period supported by the billionaire-owned media who will be crossing the threshold of number 10. It's difficult to understand why anybody should be shocked by Johnson and other government representatives living up to the adage, do as we say, not as we do, or one rule for them, another for us, or more accurately, no rules for them. Only fools, the willingly beguiled, those who wallow in their subordination are taken in by the morality spouted by our ruling class. Mind you, they do constitute the majority who want to believe the transparent lies, hypocritical morality, from sexual mores to the consumption of class A's. If we're ever to topple this collection of degenerates, those who have nothing to lose, the submerged third, other dissatisfied elements, have to stop crying and snivelling in front of the TV cameras, much to the perverted amusement of the upper classes, and get off their knees. We need mass disobedience, rejection of all establishment ideology, plus that other foundation of hypocrisy, organised religion. All over the world there are new movements sprouting from below, outside and against the system, uprisings, mass defiance, upheavals. It's long overdue here in the UK. We need to make a contribution and not allow ourselves to become an isolated, archaic, flag-waving island of monarchy, worshipping voluntary slaves first step out onto the streets nothing else counts anymore bye